Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let me put this up here. I am at another Dollar Tree I haven't been to in a while, and it's actually probably the same distance as my, I'll say my home-based uh, Dollar Tree that's about a quarter of a mile from my house. It's just in the opposite direction. Now, this one is relatively new. The space that it occupies right now had been one of those transitory spaces where every Halloween there would be a big costume shop set up and then it was something else. But now Dollar Tree has made it a permanent home. And I was in here yesterday and of course I spotted things that I haven't seen in other Dollar Trees. I wasn't prepared yesterday to do a shop with me, but I'm doing one today. So let's go see what this Dollar Tree has. Okay, from the outside you can see it seems to be a smaller Dollar Tree with smaller quantities of things, but don't let that fool you. Right away coming into the left, I'll be honest, I haven't seen this type of hat with this little rim on it. They have it in um, the cream color, the pink, and turquoise. Very cute. I have seen these other hats. And these as well. I am looking for the um, patriotic hats that I saw at that one Dollar Tree. I may have to run back and go grab me one of those. So very nice. Flip flops. Some very cute styles. I don't think I've seen these, but I could be mistaken. It could be I just haven't paid attention. But those are cute. That's one of the patterns that they have. Mm -hmm. Kids sunglasses, they're getting them out. And those bins, the storage bins, I tell you. Now look at these totes. Seashells, I call them the golden girl palm leaves. <laughs> The pineapple, these are really nice, vibrant colors, really excellent beach bags, especially if, you know, you're worried about them getting damaged or even possibly lost or stolen. The, the lays this year are amazing. I mean, this one right here, I haven't seen this one. I've seen this one a lot, but this one here, it's so lush. They have it in green and blue, and is this, is this one? No, not the same flower, but still lush. Loving it. And fun, patriotic glasses. If you're going to do a fun-themed barbecue for Memorial Day, 4th of July, or even Flag Day, you know, it, it's a fun little thing to have these at the house for everyone, you know, to enjoy and wear and just be fun. Um, their patriotic wall seems pretty well stocked I've seen a lot of these things at other Dollar Trees the USA very nice and then the stars and then this different USA with the flag no reason why you can't express your patriotic pride inexpensive things. Three pack of flags. Very nice. I haven't seen these anywhere else, but that doesn't mean that other places don't have them. I just haven't been to a few places in a while. Oh, I love that. Window clinks. Very cute. And they can be used as more than just window clinks. Um, of course, that's a, that's a nice Tub. This seems to be a little bit on the pink side, but then here's my favorite tubs this year. These big ones, that's what I use to organize my closet. The scarves, these yard pinwheels. I found the other ones, I haven't tried this kind yet, but um, the other ones were too much wind and the petals were flapping off. These bandanas I haven't seen anywhere and I picked these up yesterday. This style and then this one. I didn't get this one. This paisley, it's patriotic. And then this style here. And then the second one is that pattern. These are very nice. And then this 
this one here with the ice creams. I didn't pick this one up, but I'm, I'm looking at it going, geez, maybe I should. Yeah, because look at that. Look at that with the... I'm going to have to just pick them all up, whatever. I like them. I've got one tied to my purse. This wall over here has all of the uh, fun little tiki stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've never seen these. And these cute little napkins. Now these I have not seen. And they have them with pink or vanilla ice cream with frosting. And then the different ice cream, vanilla, strawberry, or mint or pistachio. And then these lemon, watermelon, orange. Those are adorable. Those are adorable. Here are those toothpicks. You get 80 with the little frills on the end, or you can get 200 of the regular toothpicks. I grabbed the uh, fancy little forks, which I'm not seeing here. But there's the four pack of cups, the bowls. Now I just saw these in my main Dollar Tree the other day. Look how cute that is. Fourth of July for the littles. It's got a fork, knife, and spoon, a place to put their food, and then a place to put their cup. And it's coming in the colors that we've seen. It looks like, this looks like red, pink, royal blue, and then the turquoise. And then everything you need for a luau party, including this adorable garland that spells out luau on the burlap flags. These are adorable. Oh my gosh, I didn't see this. The crab headband. The floral headband. That's really nice. See, it's they're all attached. And then they have one in roses. Very nice. Well, let me just take a look here. Okay, see these fun things? The beach ball drink. I always get these. I got this watermelon one for my granddaughter. She thought she called it a strawberry. But look at the beach ball. Look at these other little tumbler cups. Palm tree, the pineapple. Life is in beach, enjoy the waves. There's those giant ice cream drink cups. The shark. Just fun things that you can have. That you can pick up. Here's these plastic plates. I would imagine you could eat off these or put a paper plate on top of it to provide some sturdiness. And then these would be your picnic plates. Really nice. That would be cute to put together a nice picnic set for someone. Um, getting them a, you know, two sets or one set of the plates, a set of the bowls, a set of the cups that all match, and then um, putting that in a nice little picnic basket. Here's the drink bottle uh, drinks. I've gotten this one for my granddaughter too, a little seashell. And there's a mermaid tail right here. Just adorable. Coconut drinks, I mean, that's really fun. Now these are the round table covers. I don't believe I've seen round table covers here before. I've always seen the long oblong ones. So I don't know if that's just a brand new product or if they've done it and I just never realized. But it come, it's coming in green and pink. And this is what I found that I haven't seen in other places. This coastal chic kind of look. So I picked up one of these yesterday. And they also have Oops, I'll pick that up. Some more sun, sand, and sea. Salt in the air, sand in my hair. These are really cute. I'm trying to decide where I want to put these in my home. Pick this up. Okay. Uh, these nice... These you could, if you don't want, you know, something like this hanging on the wall as a decor like this. You could remove these from the ribbon and just use them in DIYs to make different projects. What immediately comes to my mind is adding something like a, a paper clip onto it and then magnetizing it and sticking it on your um, refrigerator or something like that. 
These are really cute and festive if you're doing a party. And of course, these signs are really cute. This is another fun thing. I did pick up one of these. Saw it there, seaside. I didn't pick this one up because that one's upside down. <laughs> Surf and sand. But, oh, this is cute. I didn't see this yesterday. This is that blue shell pattern we've seen on multiple things. And let's see what else we got here. Salt in the air, sand in my hair. That's cute. Okay, let the sea set you free. Welcome to paradise. What's this one? Every summer has a story. Very cute. These are great ways, even if you didn't want to do them inside your home, creating a space outside your home, your patio, your backyard with these things is a great way to, oh look, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, this is really nice. We're seeing a lot of the same things, although I haven't seen these nice napkins. I've seen other people haul them and it looks like there's six in here. So these are a little bit sturdier. And then of course your pineapple, that's appropriate any time of year. In colonial days, a pineapple was a representation of um, hospitality because they were so rare and so expensive. If somebody brought out their pineapple to serve, um, they were really giving you their best. Now these are cute, they're plastic, but they have the watermelon and it looks like they have lemons back there as well and strawberries so those are kind of fun if, if you're going to be doing some get-togethers maybe an in uh, very casual informal uh, cocktail party you can have a variety of fun drinkware to serve your drinks in very nice these are the melamine or melmac as i was called when i was a child a nice set of dishes just for outdoors really loving how the manager of this store has organized these flowers by color. Look at that, how it kind of fades. I love this. They really take time. I was speaking to her yesterday and she said they come in at five in the morning. The store doesn't open until eight in order to get everything stocked. Just look at that. It, there's something as a shopper that is very aesthetically pleasing to me to see all this order and organization. Look at this. And it's like this through the whole store, guys. That was one of the reasons I wanted to come back. This this isn't as big as some I've been to, but they really have everything together. I like that they have the chargers on an end cap. And it looks like, oh my goodness, I have never seen rose gold. I had no plans to shop today and look at me now. Now I imagine this has been at others, but I've just now noticed it. This is torch fuel. Luau time. It's citronella scented. So I haven't used those and I'm not seeing any torches anywhere here. But they have the fuel for it, so that's something for you to look at. And then look at these planters. I've gotten some of these before. Now, Dollar Tree planters will do the trick, but they are fragile in the sense that my husband's weed whacker got near them and tore them to bits. So just make note of that. Okay, hanging. A lot of people I see do DIYs with these, but you know, if you just need a hanging plant, planter. And then here are the seeds. Let me just say right now, my husband and I have sown wildflower blend um, seeds in our yard in certain areas just in like one flower bed because we wanted and you've seen it on my channel if you've looked at any of the pergola and the uh, trellising for my jasmine they just continue to come back and it adds kind of a, a little wild feel along with the stuff that we have deliberately planted in the ground I love the way it looks so Um, this may be at some others, but I don't recall seeing them at any of the ones I've gone to. These cute little happy birthday crowns with the uh, candles on top. That's adorable with the pom-poms. Looks almost like a Statue of Liberty kind of crown. And what is 
this. Oh, a cute little, this is a felt garland. So I imagine you could DIY this yourself or just get several that you put together. I like that. Fun things. We've all seen these you know, baby favors for baby showers. I really love the way they've kind of stepped up all this. I've seen a lot of these things at the other Dollar Trees I've done hauls for. The gift bags. Look at all that. I'm, you know, Dollar Tree really does an awesome job with their gift bags. Oh, look at that. How cute is that? And look at that. I love it. And they're getting really good. Look how big that bag is. These are cute. There's been various designs on this, but they, these favor boxes come back and they are just adorable. I went to a wedding that used these and they looked so chic. So chic. And of course, here's more of the gift bags. I was looking for masculine type prints because my husband's birthday is tomorrow. And I was very happy to find this. It's really nice and large. So I picked one of these up yesterday. So you can see that gets pretty big. And there's another one back here that's on the masculine side. For the most part, they don't really get a whole lot. You know, most dudes don't. I mean, I guess hip hip hooray and big fabulous birthday, but you know, most of this stuff is a little on the feminine side. <laughs> so, unless you're gonna do the, pra the, the craft bags like down on the end over here. But I was happy to see those. And you know, girls like those things too. Oh, that um, gift DIY that I did with the Dollar Tree things for the like girls weekend or like a bachelorette DIY. This is what I was talking about, the decorative shred that you could put inside the glass. I'll link that, that one below so you guys know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it. But here's the craft bag. These, of course, plenty of ideas. You could just present a nice clean bag that doesn't have anything on it, nothing fancy or you could add to it yourself, DIY your own little design. I like it, I do paper crafting, so that's really appealing to me. We're getting into the kids' toys, and I have seen these things at others, but I haven't highlighted them. Peppa Pig has made it to the Dollar Tree. I picked up some of these yesterday. The uh, Barbie accessories are back. If you have a little girl in your life who loves Barbie, I'm such a Barbie girl. Now, what I've noticed is that there are two variations of these. I don't, yes, I do see them here. Let me, they're the same item, different colors. So, look here. See what I mean? Oops, let me get that into focus. So, the purse designs are the same, just different colors. So, let's see. Let's see if you can see that. All right. So, this purse is purple here, same design, yellow here. Turquoise, pink, turquoise, pink, yellow, purple, all right. And the same is true for the sunglasses, although I'll say I'm not, sorry, the sunglasses and the headbands and the, and the necklaces. Let's see if there's a different style. There may not be. Oh yeah, there is, right back here. See what I mean? So you could get both sets and they'll have lots of varieties. There's the white and the turquoise with this little drippy necklace, the little bow headband is orange and purple. And then this is actually green. It's coming across turquoise, but it's green with the white and then the, the floral headband purple here, orange here, the round, I call them the groovy sunglasses, yellow, and then they're kind of a regular sunglass color here, brown, and then yellow, and then brown. And look at these. These are those, I saw these at another Dollar Tree, um, five characters, which is amazing. Here are the Defenders, so I guess those are supposed to be like the um, Avengers, which is nice. 
Dino World. So Jurassic Park, think of those characters. There's also Galactic Battles. Let's see what these are. All right. And then they have Fire Squad. Nice. And Police Force. Really nice. If you have a little one who loves to do the Legos, and I'll pick that up. And there's more down here. I'm trying to see if there's any more. Let me fix these. There's something about a well kept store. You just definitely want to make sure you're helping. I don't understand people that come in and make a big mess. There's not many of these left, but these little soft zoom zoom are so adorable for little hands. It's Dumbo, Goofy, Minnie Mouse. Here yesterday they had a Mickey and they had a couple of Mickeys, a couple of Minis. So, all right, there was a cartoon when I was a child, a little on the scary side, but it was called The Last Unicorn. And this totally reminds me of the artwork of that animated film. Had Jeff. Bridges did a voice in there. I mean, it was a well-cast voice um, crew, you know, but uh, this totally gives me Last Unicorn vibes. You should check it out. Coming into the toy section. Okay, for those who, who don't know, these are stickers for your Legos so that you can make a scene. They have a zombie one and they have a um, what do they call this? It looks like, uh, you know, it's girly princess thing because girls like to build too. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's more of those there. They have really, look at these bases. Look how big these are. They have them in brown, gray, blue, green. And they work with Lego. Then they have the smaller bases. And then of course the individual bricks by color. Windows and doors, scenery. I mean, nice stuff. I love it. I love it. A hundred pieces, one hundred for a dollar. These are forty-eight, so you're really making a deal. It's a mixture, so you're. And then I haven't seen these either. This is a 3D sticker story. I'm not sure how that works out, but it comes with glasses, and so apparently something about when you put that together, that's really nice. I have seen these at my store and I've done them before, or you know, showed them before the um, felt, felt figures. So there's a dinosaur, there's space, dragons, rainbows and unicorns. Let me see if there's anything new here, dinosaurs. These are Crayola products, so that on oh, here's the ocean. And the treasure trove, treasure trunk. Seeing if there's a new style in here. No. So it looks like it's those four. So sea, unicorn dragons, space creatures, aliens, and dinosaurs. That's really cute. And those, I think I said it before, you can. Uh, mount the little backdrop onto some foam core board from here and really give them hours of fun play time. So that's really neat. Looking to see if there's anything else that's new here. More of our little friends. Summer toys are coming into play, so you're having a, a swim goggles and inflatable beach balls, water 
these that you can use in the pool. Oh my gosh, swim armbands. That's cute. A larger set. Buckets and shovels. Nice. They've been having these for a while and it's such a great deal. So much. 10 ounces of Play-Doh, plus there's these little plastic cutters inside. So if you're in a classroom setting and you can't just give each child a can, you can get these and keep them in a sealable. This, it says it's a resealable bag, but I, I would trust, you know, in like another sealable container. But um, ripping off a piece for each child instead of giving them their own can and then collecting everything back together. So red, blue, and yellow seem to be the colors they have. Of course, you could buy extras and create orange and create green, create purple. You could, you know, it's a nice big amount. And so that's something always fun. These are two, um, we're using these in our children's ministry lesson, you know, I guess for different games and activities in the classroom. Really good. Some more sand tools. And of course, you got a child that needs to learn money, this is a good thing to get to teach them money and adding up stuff and finances. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is. It's LED glow art art. They're small pieces. It's one board and 60 pegs. Maybe it's like their version of a life ride. It must open up because I'm not seeing anywhere where the kids would, or maybe this sticker comes off. Who knows? Silly putty. And more Disney characters. These are great for birthday cake toppers. And they, there's actually, that's really much heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Mickey, Pluto, Minnie, very adorable. Nickelodeon, dinosaurs here. Jungle animals. Here's Daisy. Oh, Marie from Aristocats. These are just really nice. Not limited to toys. I just spotted something I haven't seen before. A paper craft set. Color fold and display your paper crafts. There's five projects. You can make a fan, a heart, a crown, a flower, and a butterfly. So this seems to be an origami set. That is really cute. I like it. <laughs> foam puzzles. Those are nice for your pre-K child. And of course puzzles. Good for all age groups. Got nice cute little dress up trunks. I'm glad to see they seem to be fully stocked with the dresses. I've seen um, Toya of my froggy stuff, buying several of these gold dresses and then turning them into, I think she did some parachute pants and I think she did some, um, made it into a shorter skirt. You know, you, you do have to be careful. Here's another one. I've gotten all of these and they're really pretty good quality. They fit. That one's really nice. I like it. There's a few more. It's just a dress. There's no shoes or accessories with it, but then right next to it, look what we got here. Oh, jeez. But it's, those are nice. And of course, the Operation Christmas Child Boxes is a great way to stock up on all those things now. Very nice. Something I have not seen is a little doctor kit. A dentist kit. That is so cute. I have not 
seen that. First time. All of this. Something new I just found yesterday is the Barbie size barbecue grill, the lounge chairs, and these I guess are like little sandy beach chairs. Barbie fits in them and this is also good for like the little Chelsea size dolls. Really cute. New furniture, yay! Come down the teacher section and I love seeing the cursive ABCs. Great way. Penmanship has really taken a nosedive in our country. I don't know why in the school system. And here's one with the regular writing. So really important for our children to learn how to properly write. I know we do a lot of stuff online, but it's, it's atrocious what I've seen. Come on, guys. It's a basic. <laughs> and they, their section isn't as big as I've seen in others, but these are cute. I haven't seen these before. I've seen these from other places. These are fraction circles, which I like. Just adorable things I'm sure you could think to use with your kids. Bulletin board puzzle decor that you can personalize. I think is adorable. And spinners. Nice. Those are important. Wall maps. I have actually used one of these on my prayer board to remember to pray for the United States and different things. I know. I know. Let me look at this said hand lettering, which I was just talking about. Okay, so it's showing you how to do different things in a fun way. Okay, I like it. That's cute. Teaching them to write in different fonts. Now that's adorable. And then they can practice. Okay, that's adorable. Here, this is in the book section. I found these yesterday and I was just like, eek! Look at this. So, they have an outfit with little things left behind and they, they show you here. You need to find it. Can you find the shiny jewel? And of course, the stickers are here. Teaching colors. Places to put stickers and finish and see. There's the shiny, the one from, it's supposed to be on page one. Love it. And then you can color this. It's teaching colors. What a cute little fun book. And they had them with <clears throat> this fella here. Dress up buddy. Same thing. Firefighter, chef. They show you the outfit police outfit that needs to go there. How fun. And then color him as well. Paleontologist, doctor, business. Very nice. Here's a one for a mermaid. sticker so it's not just mermaid tail. Really adorable stuff. Okay. And then I am seeing another one back here. What is this? Okay. I didn't see this yesterday. You must have added it. Oh, okay. So there's like karate and painting, coloring. What is this? School, martial arts, and art. I love it. So different activities kids would do. Dancing, music, so 
so this would cover any activities that someone does, which I like to. Very nice, very cute. These are fun. And usually they have sets of four, and that's what I'm seeing here too, is four. I haven't seen that story depicted before. Fun dot to dots. I'm still looking for the Peanuts color book. which I haven't seen. I've seen other people haul it. I haven't seen it in any of my um, Dollar Trees that are close by. I have that book. These are mini notebooks. Look how cute that is. It looks like they have one here for the llama too. Got these books, they're really cute. Mm -hmm. It's a color book. Oh, very cute for summer. A lot of flamingos and sea creatures. Very nice. Their book section is probably that one like the one I have at my Dollar Tree. It's not as big. Their food aisle, come on. Super impressed. Let's just take a look at what they have here. I, I haven't noticed any food items that I haven't seen in others, but look at how neatly these things are arranged. You know, you, you may want to you know, not want to get this brand because you're not sure, but you know Stoffers, you know Lance, you know Cheez It. These are name brand things that you can get and keep. I love these. Meat Cot, Toast Chi, Toasty with Peanut Butter. Those are things you can keep. And here's the smaller uh, sizes of Cheez It, the four packs. Those are good for lunches. Honey made. Um, there's two crackers per pack, and there's six packs. I mean, you might get a better deal if you're getting the larger box from the big regular grocery store. But you know, Ritz. They do have name brand. I haven't done the math to figure out if it's a better deal. But I love these Monet crackers. These are so delicious. These are my favorite. Oyster crackers. You can really find some good. And Juicy Juice is a name brand. The Old Orchard Healthy Balance, these are diet. They, they do, there's no sugar added, flavor reduced sugar juice, and cocktail from concentrate. So you gotta figure out for yourself if you want the juice but not the sugar, because it says here only one gram of sugar and two carbs. So I'm watching the carbs, and if I want juice, this may be something I wanna consider. They have apple, white grape, strawberry. I know some people will be like, oh my God, you know, sugar sweeteners, ugh, you know, but, granite blueberry I ha and acai. I have tasted these and they do taste really good. I haven't noticed um, and that's 64 ounces. That's half a gallon. Half a gallon guys. For a dollar. Hershey's milk, Arizona tea. A lot of the stuff you usually find in Dollar Tree. By the way, these fudge mints taste just like the uh, Girl Scout uh, Thin Mints just if you don't know. All right, guys, I've kind of gone through the store and found the things that I haven't seen at other Dollar Trees. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. Bye until next time.